couple days ago, the Chaos Group announced a very exciting news. They released a new version of V-Ray, which has a light mix feature. The thing that made me switch to Corona a couple years ago. In this video, I share with you my feedback on the new version of V-Ray. Make sure you stay with me until the end to find out if I switch back to V-Ray after three years of using Corona. V-Ray 5 is available in beta version and you can download it and test it for free for a limited time right now. I put the link in the description. Two days ago, I published a video explaining why I switched to the Corona renderer. Make sure to check it out, the link will be in the corner. Around the same time, the Chaos Group announced a new version of V-Ray, with a new light mix feature and material library with 500 render-ready materials. Let me show you what is new. Let's start with the material library. To access it, click on the icon located on the very toolbar. Materials are divided into categories. They look pretty good at the first glance. We've been using the Corona material library a lot, so it's great to have it in very 2 It's a great way to save some time on the materials that are not so important. Then, we have more time to create more important custom materials. Forms look interesting. We have some nice bumpy glass here. They also used some imperfection maps. Ground materials look very basic. You won't be able to use it for close-ups, unfortunately. Leather is really nice. There are pretty much all the materials we need for such a library. The only thing I'm missing here is marble. There are a couple of marble materials, but they are not so nice. Now let me show you how it looks rendered. I will create a box and apply a material to it. It's very easy to apply these materials to the model. If you right-click on it, you can open a larger preview. Here you can check some details. You can add it to the scene or assign it to the selected object. Let me start rendering. I will show you frame buffer options later. Materials look really good, but the huge drawback is that they don't have a displacement map. These maps are essential to create photorealistic output. I hope they will add them for the final release. Let me show you some other materials. This one is a bit too strong, but you will be able to adjust all the settings as you like. These metals look super cool. Let me show you some glass. It looks awesome, but again, it doesn't have a displacement map. Here is another one. Looks good too.
here is how the material looks like. We have a diffuse map, reflection map and very normal texture. Now the best part, the new redesigned frame buffer and light mix. Here is my scene, let me show you how it looks rendered. All the magic happens here on the right hand side. We have a denoise layer, but we have to add a render element first. We have lens effect here too. I like that everything is in the one place. Here we can switch to light mix, but I will show this later. In the main layer, we can switch between different displays corrections. Now, the great thing about the new V-Ray is the layer panel. We can work like in the Photoshop now. We can use blending modes and change opacity. We always try to avoid post-production in Photoshop to save some time, so this option is great for us. We can also use the same effect multiple times, which is awesome. Let's say you lower exposure all the way down, but it's still too bright. Now you can add another layer and the problem is fixed. They kept all the adjustments we had in the previous versions. Curves work like in the previous versions too. I've never liked curves in V-Ray. It's annoying for me that you can zoom in and zoom out and I always move the ends accidentally. I love that I can change the orders of the layers. That's a great feature. We can also save and load the presets. To set up the light mix, we have to add a render element. Let's find the light mix render element. Great thing about very light mix is that all we have to do is to add the render element. We don't have to set up lights like in Corona. We can decide how to group lights here. We can also multiply lights and add the noiser. In order to get it work, we have to add very denoiser render element. The light mix is there. We can turn the lights on and off. Let's start only with the environment. Here we can change the intensity. And here we can change the color. I don't like the color picker, it's really hard to find the right color. We need a temperature slider like in Corona. With lights we almost always use Kelvin temperature. Let me show you artificial lights. I have a problem with color here too. I like that we can save switches though. Temperature slider is a must. If someone from the KS group is watching, please add it to the final release. Also, we cannot drag and drop colors to copy them. We can go inside the color and copy the code. Mm. 
I have a problem with self-illumination materials too. I have very light material applied to the model. It was working fine in the corona. I would probably find some work around here, but it would be nice to have very light materials too. We can also generate render elements from light mix and mix them in post. All we have to do is to change the mode to composite. You can find the elements here. Let me change it back to a light mix. Overall, the new update is great. I wish they would improve the color selector. We need a temperature slider. Also, I think it's better to have a saturation slider here, because changing value is similar to changing intensity. Would be nice if we could copy colors by dragging them too. I love the new layers, that was a great move. I hope it will be developed further in the future versions, so we don't have to use Photoshop at all. I am sure a lot of your users have been waiting for this. We're probably not going to switch back to V-Ray though, as Corona has light mix feature. Also, they just released a preview of new Sun model in upcoming version, which looks insane. I still feel that images from Corona have more natural look. But the more competition between these two engines, the better for us artists. I advise you to download it, check it out and make your own decision. Ok, I think that's it for today. Thanks for watching and also don't forget to like this video if you found this interesting, share it, subscribe and do all these wonderful things. See you guys in the next video!